Oh, yeah. Good Marvel movies still can happen, I guess. <laughs> Star Wars. Hey guys, this is my review for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. This is a very special kind of movie for me, especially in terms of how I went and saw it. The buddy I went and saw it with, we met and were discussing the very stupid issue that had happened when James Gunn had gotten fired for decades old tweets. There's no way the Volume 3 can happen without him, and six years later, we finally get to see this film. Much more of a James Gunn movie first, Guardians of the Galaxy first, Marvel franchise backseat. After he finished this movie and they did the premiere, you could definitely tell James just gave them the finger as he walked out. Because this is honestly the most fun I've had with any Marvel movie since Endgame. Four years. That's how long it's taken for me to care about watching a Marvel movie. And that is because of how good James Gunn delivers this final entry. The film follows the Guardians as they are on a quest to try and save Rocket uh, from a current medical conditioning that's killing him. And to find out what is killing him, they have to go into his past, dig up all this stuff that Rocket has kept under wraps for very good reason. The amount of trauma this poor raccoon has gone through is innumerable. And we see that in flashbacks for him while the characters are on these challenges, on these journeys, and kind of dealing with their own issues. We've got Gamora not being the Gamora that Peter Quill loved, and he still can't get past that. We have Nebula, who is somewhat in the secondary mother sort of leader role because Quill is just such a mess. As I said, this movie is very much about the Guardians and who they are and what they're doing. In actual terms of building the franchise, there's nothing. There is absolutely almost nothing from this movie that's probably going to be in the other films. Maybe one or two aspects, but that's it. And I absolutely adore the movie for that absolutely i was on a walk last night and then it came to me just exactly why guardians is so well beloved guardians of the galaxy is probably one of the best examples i could ever give for audiences to get the best cartoon to live action adaptation i've ever seen and i understand that slightly bending the truth because i'm referring to comic book characters who from what i could find have never had a cartoon adaptation specifically about them but boy does the film's dialogue, character interactions, challenges, character expression and emotion, and general silliness come in a way that you would normally only entertain if it was in cartoon form. James just is able to give a proper film feel, a proper cinematic fun feel to a story which, while might seem a little bit basic and a little bit oversaturated with hitting the heartstrings, it is the best movie that Marvel's had in a while. The writing is solid, the jokes are good, and the High Evolutionary, despite initially sort of being kind of a run-of-the-mill Marvel villain, he's done well. He's a piece of shit. There's no redemption arc or any kind of, oh, maybe you want to side with him. I think they realize that they kind of got that from Thanos and from Killmonger. No, nah, High Evolutionary is just a piece of shit, and he's really, really good at it. The only thing I think that doesn't slap is the soundtrack. Not to say that there aren't some good tracks on here, there are some decent songs, but in terms of the first and the second one, I bought those CDs right off the bat. Yes, I bought a CD, and I listened to them in my car for weeks on end. This one, I've been... I've been listening to it a bit here and there on Spotify, and there are some songs I just straight up skipped. You know, if you got three banging soundtracks in a row, I, I would have been very, very impressed. More of the focus on Rocket, that emotional trauma, that emotional story of building that he went through, that is definitely the more main focus. And they do spend a lot of time with that. This is the longest Guardians movie of the three. But the action is really fun, especially there is one sequence towards the end that is by far the best action sequence that's been in a Marvel movie in a long while. It pulls at the heartstrings. It makes you feel. It makes you care. It makes you cry. It gives you laughs. It gives you terror. It gives you dread. And it gives you joy. Just what you would almost want out of any kind of movie that you're going to see, especially one of this caliber. While it may not be of a woo 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 kind of golden arc end to this trilogy, it is still an end regardless because we almost didn't get this. Did you know that before James Gunn got fired, he's gonna be the kind of architect of the MCU cosmos? 
But look how they fucked that up. And good on James for sticking to his creative talent and his rights to make a good movie because some might have thought that he might have just kind of been like, eh, whatever, as he left MCU. I brought these guys onto the silver screen. I'm going to give them a proper send off. And I do. I really do enjoy it. I'm definitely going to see it again. It may not be as good as the first one. In some ways, it's better than the second. In some ways, it's not. But it's still a very fun movie. So in the end, I'm going to give Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 a 5 out of 7. It's a really fun movie. It's definitely one of my favorites of the year so far. It's the best Marvel movie that we've had since Endgame. Hands down. I, I was just happy to fucking care. I honestly don't know when I will see another Marvel movie in theaters again. I, I genuinely don't have any movie that's coming up that I care to see. None. I don't care about anything that's coming. This was the last one I knew I actually cared about. But anyways, guys, those are my thoughts. What did you think of the movie? Let me know in the comments below. But if you guys like this review, please leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.